write this down if you are taking notes the first point is that you are ready to date when you don't need to when you don't need to as long as there is a need i need why because i, I don't know man it's just, just 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 life is not is not everybody is dating around me and my biological clock has ticked and i need to why because i don't feel like i'm successful no 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 my friend find yourself in god like adam did the god comes to adam say adam come on bro it's your time i believe that many people i wrote this book and i titled it single ready to mingle the word single in the original language means whole unique one the problem with many people is they're not single see you're not single because you're not dating you're single because you're whole you're not single because you're not married you're single because you're whole the more single you become the more ready you are to mingle in fact even when you get married the more single you stay the better chances your relationships will get better singleness is the hope to this generation being single means being whole being single means complete being single being meaning being unique being single means you you know who you are being single means you're not broken being single means you're not shattered being single means you are restored being single means you are free the problem with many people is they're mingling and they're not single there's not whole of them. What's, what's given, what they give of themselves is only 80% because 10%, the guy who abused them before, he's taken that. The other 10% was taken by, by the fact that there was no father in a home or broken family environment. The other 10% was taken by the fact that they look to themselves in the mirror and they say, I don't like the way I look. And so when they actually come into a relationship, they're mingling, but in reality, they're not truly single. They're not truly whole. And that's exactly why those relationships don't work. Why? Because when you're not whole, you're like a bleeding person that is going into the sea full of sharks, hoping to have fun. You always end up somebody's lunch. People say, why, why is these bad people always are attracted to me? Sharks smell blood. There are evil people in this world and they smell. A lot of times you could see even, even people among us, and I'm not going to point fingers on anybody or call anybody out. That was Paola's job last week. <laughs> did an amazing job. <laughs> we were watching live stream and we were like, I hope she's not going to call anybody out on the live stream. <laughs> you there. But sometimes I watch young guys or young girls the way they dress the kind of attention that they seek and you know it's not because they want to it's because they're hurting and next thing that happens is the kind of guys they get the kind of things they get eventually they're like man i always get heartbroken i always heart i always get you know these people who leave me wounded i said well you know if you stop putting out the bait you will stop attracting those things but the reason why we put out that bait is because we are hurting. It's not because we want to act this way. It's because we grew up without a father. Or maybe we, we've been abused before. Or maybe we feel very insecure. And so I want to tell you something. That God first wants us to find wholeness in Him. If you're taking notes, write this down. A relationship with God will make you whole. All relationships will reveal your holes. Every relationship in your life will actually expose the holes that you got only one relationship will make you whole if I hear another young person says he makes me whole to me it's a first sign they're broken <laughs> if she makes you whole that means you messed up you gotta walk in already I am whole he God makes me whole and the other person walks in and guess what happens when you whole you don't have to settle for anything or anybody who has a lust problem who has control the problem who has manipulating problem you don't have to send your nudes you don't have to sex you don't have to give yourself away too cheaply why because you know that you don't need them to be you you are you by yourself you found yourself in God I know it's sexy, I know it's romantic, I know it sounds cute on Instagram. He makes me whole, he completes me. All of that stuff is junk. It just simply means you're infatuated, you're drunk with infatuation and the same God who makes you whole then begins to stalk all of your friends and send all kinds of bad stuff about you and destroy your reputation. Why? Because if you give somebody a power to make you whole, they'll break you down. I walk into a relationship knowing one thing. 
there's only one person in this world who has a relationship to make me whole and to break me to pieces and that person is the one who died on the cross for me and so when I come into marriage when I come into dating I don't come to get whole I come to be blessed I come to bless I come to love I come to bless why they don't have the power to heal me and they don't have the power to hurt me why because I am whole by God come on somebody but you must understand no matter how whole you get every person in this room has gotten some holes the holes are the things your attitude when you one of your siblings is getting ready the holes is is when somebody cuts you off maybe you're driving the holes maybe when the manager you know pulls you on that shift on the 4th of July and asks you to work and you have a barbecue to go to and you're like Aah! that's a hole for some of you the hole is is maybe the fact that you know you, you're addicted to something that's, that's a hole and a lot of times when you get into a relationship you, you recognize you're perfect but then they begin to reveal your holes and so and many people of course they're like oh my god I made a wrong decision and no you didn't make a wrong decision you've had these holes all of your life your mama told you you had these holes your brother told you you had these holes your pastor told you you got these holes your youth group leader told you you got these holes but you always said it's not your fault and now you got somebody in your nose saying you know what you got to deal with that or we're gonna have problems and God's like finally I got to him marriage is not meant to make you happy it's first meant to make you holy and if it doesn't make you holy it'll make you miserable but if it makes you holy it will make you happy every other relationship is not gonna make you whole temporarily it will make you the feeling he's so perfect and then three months later you find out he's so perverted oh wow from perfect to perverted man he makes me feel so beautiful and just three weeks later I'm sick of him why anytime you give somebody a power to make you whole they'll just show your world only relate write this down relationship with God satisfies all other relationships magnify every relationship in your life including the relationship that you will have with other people will magnify who you are only relationship with God will satisfy somebody say satisfy somebody say magnify God satisfies relationships magnified if you are satisfied in God when other person walks into your life they'll magnify that satisfaction for example if you are a young lady and you know that you're beautiful because your dad told you you're beautiful because God told you you're beautiful next thing that happens another person another man will walk into your life at the right time and this is what's gonna happen they will magnify what you already know about yourself but if you walk around knowing that you're ugly, if you walk around you feel that you're worthless, nobody will love you. And this is what typically happens. Somehow, someway in this crazy universe, you tend to attract people exactly the same who after about 2-3 months begin to tell you exactly the same thing you've been telling yourself for 20 years. And people say, why am I attracting that kind of a thing? Because see, what you believe about yourself is a magnet that attracts exactly the same thing. If you are lonely, you begin to attract more loneliness. If you are sad, you begin to attract more sadness. And so I want to challenge you today to get in the face with God. Begin to find a relationship with Jesus where He can satisfy you. And then God will bring other people who will magnify you. Who will magnify what you got inside. They will make it more like that. If you, if you are broke as a single person, can I give you a secret? No man will ever fix your financial problems. It's like that woman who, who uh, married a man and uh, she was bragging about that he was a millionaire. They asked him, who was he before you met him? She was like, he was a billionaire. <laughs> he was a billionaire before I met him. Because when you're broke, you get married, you become more broke. But if you know how to manage finances, if you know how to manage your emotions, if you know how to manage your time, you get married, that begins to grow. You have an intimacy with God, you have a devotional life, even though you're in school, even though you're in work, you still find time to read the Word of God. This is crazy how it happens. You get married and you find out your relationship with God actually grows. 
somebody else gets married you find out they don't have any relationship with God at all why because they've never had a relationship with God to start with marriage doesn't change you it only reveals and magnifies what you already got inside you got anger it's just gonna be more of anger you got sadness it's gonna be more of sadness you got depression marriage won't fix it if marriage would fix depression if marriage would fix lust some people some guys like man I struggle with porn I just need to get married so I can have free sex you're crazy Marriage is not going to deliver you. If marriage will be a deliverer, God wouldn't send Jesus Christ to die on the cross for you. He will send marriage to die on the cross for you. Marriage doesn't deliver guys. God delivers people. Repentance delivers people. Renouncing things delivers people. Freedom weekend delivers people. Come on somebody. Are you with me? Without devotional life, we will seek out of dating what only can be found in deliverance. Without devotional life, we will seek out of dating what only can be found in deliverance. I believe if you don't have a walk with God, your romantic relationship, mark my words, I know some of you, I'm looking over you, it's going through your thick skull right now. It's completely fine. I will still be here when you will be broken and heartbroken and you will cry. But I'm going to tell you this. I've seen this 16 years being in youth ministry, I've seen this all over the place romance becomes a rehab when you don't have an intimacy with God and you see a poor girl helping a guy to get over his cheating problem and because she's so insecure instead of dropping him like a hot potato she's literally babysitting that dude who literally needs rehab or you see a, a guy same thing put, putting up with the girl who literally has the spirit of a Jezebel she needs deliverance not a date but the reason why he's putting up with her because she's so good looking. The Bible says a good looking woman without her brains is a pig with a golden nose ring. Home slice, you're dating a pig. The homegirl is, is a witch. She's a manipulative, controlling freak. The fact that she looks great, it doesn't mean anything. But why we do that? Because without the relationship with God, we don't have the confidence to say, you know what, no, no, that is not right for me. I know you're hot, but hell is hot too. And I don't want to be with hell. Oh, but he's so fine. You see the BMW that he drives, you know, he's just, he's so fine. Those biceps and the triceps, did you see that? Do you see his hair? I mean, he even, he, he even does his eyelashes and he, he goes waxing and everything. I just, I know he has a porn addiction. I know he sleeps with anything that moves, but we can change that. No, 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 no. If you don't have an intimacy with God, you will turn, you will make out of your relationship a rehab. I can't tell you how many people, through, even this week, I met with for 13 years 12 years are not in a marriage they're in a rehab program and the other spouse keeps retaking the same classes every single year and can't graduate <laughs> and they're sucking their life out people literally who were telling me I tried to end my life already why because this rehab sucks marriage was supposed to be a place of love that's what they were expecting instead it became a prison sentence God doesn't want it to be for you but it will happen and you will never be able to see differentiation between love and lust if you don't have an intimacy with God intimacy with God gives you protection intimacy with God lets the weirdos stay away from you and you to smell where the weirdos coming saying you know what hit the road Jack <laughs> I'm not uh, I, I I protected my purity for 12 years not so I can live in the in the rehab in my romance no 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 that's that's not I prayed I fasted not so that I can just have a, a, a good looking guy I need a good man with some good morals with the head screwed on his shoulder with his heart in his right place and somebody who uses his hands to pick up groceries not to slap me somebody who's not a player but somebody who's a priest in the house somebody who knows how to pray somebody who knows how to read the bible not just somebody who's always on his phone but somebody who's always connected to god and so you begin to know that why because you're, you're in the relationship with god because somebody say amen